what's up, Wee Man here. Today I got a review for you of the mini display port to the uh, VGA adapter from Apple for the MacBooks, the new ones. Um, sorry if you can hear the noise in the background, the dishwasher is going, I'm in the kitchen. But um, this retails for $29.99 US dollars. Uh, get it from Best Buy, Apple Store, Radio Shack maybe has them, I don't know. Google it, it's got all the answers. Um, but I have used this. Um, I do wish I would have got the DVI one, but I did get this for um, a specific reason, I, and I will tell you about that uh, in a little bit. But anyways, the part that I don't like about this, and it's a huge one, is when you're watching stuff and you hook it up to an external monitor, if you want two monitors, you know, this is what you use it for. When you hook it up, for me anyways, on everything I've hooked it up to, it always pushes the picture up this way to the top left so right down here all along the bottom side and this side you will get black about like my finger you can see there probably about that much black on the actual screen about that much around the whole you know the whole side just like it's that thick I'm trying to point out but so that is annoying and you know the Macs have that menu bar at the top here along that whole top part so when you do hook it up to another monitor it cuts that menu bar like in half you can only see the bottom half of the menu bar because it physically pushes the picture up that way and it's so annoying and besides that fact which I should have known this in the first place you know it's not really their fault I guess but it doesn't support very high resolution so so if you got a 24 inch monitor it will not support that resolution I believe the highest is like a 22 maybe maybe 22 possibly a 19 inch it the resolution looks good on my 19 inch monitor but then again it does still push it up that way so and that's just annoying so back to what I was saying before about why I actually got this uh, VGA one and not the DVI is because I have a 40 inch Samsung television that I wanted to hook my MacBook up to to watch Hulu movies and TV show TV shows on the TV. Now it does work, and again the resolution does not work at all. Like it's it's way lower quality, and again you know that's to expect from VGA. It's not the best, but that was all my TV had was the VGA, and it it looks all right. It's decent because you know you sit far away from it so it looks good but again even on there it pushes that picture up that way I don't know why it's obviously not something like it's not the one monitor brand because I've hooked it up to three different things and unless I'm just really unlucky which I it could be possible but I doubt it maybe but it could be that I'm just unlucky with those three things but it always pushes the picture up that way and I find myself not even using it now I wish I could have gone gone back and gotten the DVI adapter. Maybe that does it too. I don't know. Maybe you guys can leave, you know, comments and maybe even video responses showing yours. Maybe it works better than this one and it doesn't push the picture up that way. I don't know. But I do know that if I did have the DVI, I, I would at least get the resolution that I wanted because DVI supports much higher resolution, better quality. So that would be good. The only thing I do get full resolution on is my 19 inch ViewSonic computer monitor. And as I said, it still pushes the picture up there. So, you know, that's the big, big downside, and that is why I would not recommend getting this one. Now, as I said, maybe the DVI one is different, and I would like to hear comments um, of you guys, of people that have them, and maybe, you know, you have a different story. Maybe you like it. And $30 for this, I mean, it's, a, it's basically just a little cord. It's a little adapter. I mean, $30, this should be 10 15 bucks max. You know, they've got to make profits on everything and whatever. That's a whole other story. Besides that, I think it should be included with the MacBook since they took these, you know, the old MacBooks, MacBook Pros had the DVI adapter right on them, and they took it out, and now you got to pay stuff. And same thing with before that, they took the Apple remote out, now you got to pay whatever it is for that twenty dollars thirty I don't know anyways that's a whole other story but I would not recommend this maybe the DVI one's better I don't know I can't say because I don't have it 
So this is just my review of it. Please leave your comments below. I want to know if you guys have the DVI adapter or maybe you even have this VGA one and you have the same problems or you don't or maybe you have a solution for me. That'd be great if someone did. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again in the next one. Peace.